perfectionist parenting. Do you know what it is? It sounds like it's a parent that raises their kid in a perfectionist way, but that's not what it is at all. It's a parent who falsely believes that if they keep increasing the pressure on their child, like their accomplishments, the, the accomplishments of their child aren't good enough, that the parent falsely believes that will inch the child ahead with their performance. <laughs> Unfortunately, that parent is using psychology in a very negative way. And that's what perfectionist parenting has not been proven to do. Perfectionist parenting is about a parent who keeps going at their child to say, well, you could have got 10 out of 10 instead of nine out of 10. You could have got an A plus instead of an A minus. You could have got an overall GPA of 95 instead of 92. And it can be subtle, it can be direct, but that parent, in many cases, is trying to take down their child subconsciously. Usually it's a very weak and insecure parent who does that. Regardless, you have the end product, which is always a broken child, a child who eventually is beaten down so much because nothing they do can ever make the grade that they freeze, they stop performing, they crawl into a back hole, and they never ever come out. I know someone very specific to this example, and I was wondering why this lady would just keep beating the shit out of herself all the time. She's overweight, she smokes dope, she gets drunk all the time, she's sick, and to the point where she can't do anything anymore. At a very young age, she is completely incapacitated. And I knew it was a special case of self-sabotage. I was always asking myself, why is this lady like this? Like, this is a high accelerated, high intense attack on self. Self-sabotage is always about it trimming your own tall poppy and taking vicious runs at yourself, and making it a cycle and dulling your own shine. But this was like a high upregulated, high level attack. And I always wondered why is this woman kicking the living shit out of herself to this extent? And then I met her mother <laughs> and her mother, oh my, nothing is ever good enough. You have to do this. You have to phone that person. You have to do that. You can't... Running her life, always giving suggestions, never lending her daughter a comforting ear or a supportive ear. It's always advice, 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 advice on how to live a successful life. And the mother, of course, never being successful herself. So how how is she given success advice in every phone conversation, every interaction. And what she's doing, she thinks she's helping her daughter, but she's so sedated herself, she can't see that her daughter gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And she'll never consider that it's her potentially that's causing this complete degradation of her daughter. So this is what you gotta be careful of. Now this, this daughter, this lady I know, is so destroyed by her own hand. And that's what, that's what happens to these perfectionist children. They stop performing because they hate performing. They hate doing anything great because as soon as they do something great, here comes the parent again to say it's not good enough. So the end psychological result there is basically a child who so hates performing that they just don't want to perform anymore and they'll never take a step up because there's their parent to tell them it's not good enough. So all they do is take steps down 
to almost maintain the dysfunctional relationship with their parent. So the parent can actually start lecturing them on stepping down instead of telling them it's not good enough when they step up. And then I, and then I met the other two siblings of this, of this lady, not lady, well, two, two siblings of this lady, the other two children of this mother. And not as bad, but equally dysfunctional in the perfectionist parenting way. So if you're a parent out there, you always have to encourage your children. And my parents, oddly enough, were always encouraging, no matter what I did. And people would tell them, you're not hard enough on Jason. You have to discipline Jason harder. You have to punish Jason. And yeah, I got some punishments, corporal punishment and other punishments, but they're always supportive. They're always supportive to this very day. And that's what a parent's role is, to be supportive, give guides, but never come down on your kids for not being good enough, especially not being good enough in regards to a shitty and rotten system like we have today, like the school system, or the, the occupation system where you get these meaningless, soulless jobs where you're you're working for Darth Vader down on the desk. Never ever discourage your children from getting outside these shitty systems that suck the life out of you and transfer the life energy up to the dark and rotting people at the top of the corrupt ruling pyramid. Always encourage that and encourage whatever they're doing. Encourage them to pursue their dreams. Stop encouraging them to run back into the safety of big brother government and put the government tit in your mouth and suck on it for the pension. That's fear nothing other than an empty and meaningless, meaningless life. And there's nothing more empty in my opinion than acting like an infant your whole life and always looking for mama and daddy government, mommy and daddy parent figure to take care of you for the rest of your life because you, you've you been scared. You're, of course it's scary to go out on your own. I've been working for myself since I'm the age of 24. It's scary every day, but it's better than an empty and meaningless life. I'll tell you that right now. You need more information like this? Email me at info at jchristoff.com. I'll put you on my private email list and slow drip your free information. that will make your life better. This is Jason Christoff signing off from cloudy Latvia.